I am ready now to take challenges. You can challenge me at GM Ashley. I did open up the challenge range so that you can challenge me at any rating level. Normally, you know, when I'm playing Bullet, which is what I usually do online, I try to limit the rating level. But I'm going to go with the first player, and it's Alex Wall. Who got the challenge in? We're going to try to do different levels, but right now we have this challenge. And uh, Wesley, it's our turn. Let's go. Yeah. So I should uh, say pawn. I think I guess the good pawn uh, from your side there. Uh, knight. Maybe we should make the chat play. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay, so we, we play serious, right? We're trying to we're trying to win. All right. Okay, we're trying to win. I guess you could have played knight c3 also. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tricky, whoa. tricky player. Yeah, he's playing the line Jubaba played, which is actually not so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I think the best move. Okay, so knight. We're down on clock knight. So far, so easy. So far, clean pawn, bishop. Just trying not to get me to. Wow. You, this guy is sophisticated. Look at this. Yeah, he's good. Fun. Wesley, I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going I'm to be real boring about this. I don't know if that's the pawn you wanted me to play. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. Yeah? I guess well. Okay. Uh, I'm nervous. I don't know this line, and I'm definitely nervous. But uh, that looked like I had to defend the position. So... And we're down on the clock, so we can't be ch talking too much. Yeah, that's the king. I think that's the only move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, apparently it's called the Stafford Gambit. Uh huh. Well, uh, this is. You, I'm going to count on you to do this opening right. Uh, but our opponent is pausing, so let's hope that he doesn't remember the rest, Alex. Uh, and it's not consulting with an engine now, Alex. I hope you're playing legit. Now nah, we got we, we nobody's here is gonna is gonna do anything again. funny business. Woo! Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to resign? <laughs> Night G four. <laughs> Night G four. Oh my gosh. I got a bad feeling, Wesley. Uh, we 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 might be getting served. This guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> Knight G4 is on the board. I've been following your move, so don't blame me. Well, okay, so it's my responsibility, right? You got to make a move. You need to. I, I'm. I'm wondering. <laughs> wow, that's a big time uh, move there. Wow. So I guess pawn. Hopefully we survive. Because <laughs> obviously I, I have only one pawn move. That makes any sense. Okay. And I got to take it. All right, Wesley, if I do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. So my assumption is you must plan. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm afraid to play the other move because of this and this. Oh, and then a queen sack. Holy crap. I've got to play this, no? I've got to play. That's my only move. That's my only move. Yeah, it's the only move. It's the only way to play. We're, we're surviving, right? We're surviving now, though. It's the only, because D3 was losing on the spot, right? To, yeah, to G3, that would have been ugly. Woo! Okay, we, I think we got out of the opening. They're not giving us a break. Yes, I'm Filipino. <laughs> I think we got out of the opening after all that nonsense. Oh my goodness, that was dangerous. Yeah, I thought we were lost for a second, but I think now we're just a piece up. Now, now we're, we're looking okay. We just need to keep the time going. Yeah, just the time. Yeah, that was crazy, that opening. Man, you know, he counted on the opening to knock us out, but now it looks like we're surviving. What? <laughs> what? Wow, we only have one move. Yeah. I, I don't even, I can't even think. King. Only one move again. Wow, this guy is really aggressive. <laughs> He's really aggressive. Okay. Um, this is going to get answered, though, right now. Yeah. That's got to go. <laughs> Woo! Wesley, 
That was a that Alex is aggressive, man. Oh my goodness. We dodged a bullet there. <sighs> that was it scary. I'm sure you're gonna look at the theory of this one <laughs> after this is over, because that was wild. Alright, what do I want to do? The threat is that, that, and that. So the stuff's coming at us. Oh, apparently Black had the winning move there. Really? Yeah, Chad was saying Bishop F2 and Fed Rook H2. Wow, that would have been... Okay, I got to move. Oh, Bishop, I said Bishop, sorry. Okay, I'm going to move the Bishop. So when you get low on time, should you play or... No, 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 you got to keep talking. Okay, keep talking, okay. So we got to play fast, we got to beat this guy. Pawn? Did you say pawn? Yeah, pawn. Sorry. Bishop. Oh my god. Bishop. Bishop. Yeah, now we're safe. I think we can handle this now. Yeah. Fun. That was a great, great try. Now we only have 20 seconds, so we gotta fly. Yeah, yeah. We got we got queen, queen. We gotta do this. Yeah, I think we can handle this just as long as we go fast enough. Man, if they're all, this is a 1700. If they're going to play like this, we're in trouble. Maybe we should have challenged it. Should have been a 5 plus 2 challenge instead of a 3 plus 2 because, my goodness, we barely scraped by in this one. Well, we haven't lost anything yet. No, that's true. That's yeah. true. So we'll, we'll yeah, try. Remember? We'll try not to get caught in any traps. I got to tell you, Alex Wall, that was a great game. Let's go back. Apparently, we were losing. Somebody said. In this position? Yeah. Because of bishop f2, and I, I, if we play rook takes... Bishop f2, I think it's winning. And queen h5? Yeah, bishop takes f2. Are you seeing the board? Yeah. Is this what you're saying, right? Queen h5? Yeah. And I, I have, and we have no way of running. Hold on, back up. Bishop f2, and if king takes... Rook h2. We got run to d4, huh? King e3. Queen g3. Queen g3. Aren't we up material? We're up to pieces, so we can play bishop f3. Uh-huh. Queen g3, bishop f3. So what happens now? Queen. I mean, we always have d4. There is this check, but then there's rook f3, so. Are we lost? I mean, it doesn't look pretty, <laughs> I'm going to say, but it looks like we're still alive. Yeah, maybe it's not so easy. I, I Probably computer will give a win for black, but it seems like we're surviving at the moment. Did you say it's the chat said bishop f2? Yeah, I found the chat. They said bishop f2. Bishop F2, king takes, check, king here. I am a little worried about some kind of queen check, like, no, but queen check is rook F4. Any queen check I, we can block. Queen check here is rook F4. Yeah. So, well, chat, what's the deal? What, what are we missing? The chat is saying. Yeah, you can always turn the engine. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just asking the chat oh, what, okay. ah, that's true. That's what right. they thought. But no. All right. Well, uh, we survived, is all I can yeah. say. We survived. That was a tremendous game. Alex, 
well played. No question about it. It, it was a fantastically played game. That was scary. My heart's still beating fast from that attack. Uh, but thankfully, we were able to uh, make it out of there alive. All right, let's go play another game. You guys can challenge again. And uh, let's let's get the challenge on. Don't do 3-2. It's too fast is okay, what people are saying. Up. People are saying, do you really think it's too fast, folks, 3-2? I mean, I, I don't think so. I think we should be able to handle it, even if we, uh, even if we lose. I'm going to accept the next one. Oh, we got a 1,300, Wesley. Oh, okay, we got if, this. If yeah. we lose this, you can blame me, all right? So, okay. B. Marlett, we got a 3 plus 2 against a 1,300. We're going to vary the strength level, so... Uh, let's go. Let's have it. You yeah, have a chance go. to play against Wesley So. And what you got, Wesley? Bone. All right, you play E5 in this position. So, bo you know what? I'm going to mix things up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to mix like things E5 up. Better. Play for me. Then knight. Three to find, but higher rated players. But then we're going to lose, yeah, if we play. play so better. what? We lose a game, big deal. Whatever. We're having fun. We're just having a good yeah. time. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. Knight. Yeah, so no bomb clouds today, all right? We just play normal. Let's not be crazy, please. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about bomb cloud? First, tell me a piece. What do you, what do you want to do right now? One. That's good. What do you feel about bomb cloud? Sorry, about bomb cloud? Yeah. Bishop. I feel like it's a great uh, psychological attempt to castle to attack your opponent. Oh, sorry, why did I say castle? You meant king, I get it. Yeah, pawn. Knight. Actually, he got a good position, huh? I know. Compared to that little thing he did, it looks like we could have been more aggressive. Queen. Pawn. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm a little concerned about what I'm thinking about. Wait. But you know what? Chess is chess. Let's go. Yeah, we don't have much of a choice at this point. We definitely Was that the move you planned? Was that the move you wanted me to play? Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, it's the most logical move, so we just had to. Yeah. Yeah, I think from our bishop is very bad. Okay, that's a big mistake. Pawn. Reminds me of something. Some someone had this pawn formation where the wasn't it recently one of the matches where the bishop had to try to get along this diagonal. Knight. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, rook. Rook. Did you say rook? Yeah, rook. Sorry. Really? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Since you decided to be wild. Yeah, you got you got to play it. You know, when, when you see a knight in the same file as your rook and you can double the pawns. I hear you. I, I, you, just, you just threw it out there. You said rook. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to be boring and play rook f5. Knight. I'm just following Wesley so. He said, let's do it. We're going. Let's see if this works out. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it ended up sure. working out. <laughs> it ended up working out in the end. What yeah. did you have for King G2? Yeah, I don't know, knight C4. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right, King G2. No, I mean, probably Rook F3 is not the best, but Bishop. Bishop. Uh, let's put this guy over there. Nice. Bishop. Rook. 
And we got a lead on the clock, so we're doing all right. Yeah, we better put this in the back. Yeah, we haven't lost any games yet. <laughs> it's only the second game. <laughs> 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 we're going to lose a game. It's going to happen eventually. But this one, this one, we're okay. Bishop. Bishop. You're you great. You are so greedy, it's not even funny. Is that the move you planned? Yeah. Wow, that is such a greedy move. Whoa. Whoa. Bishop. Yeah, you told me we have to win, right? So. Yeah, that was just straightforward greed. So, Wesley, uh, yeah. you, are, you are leading the tour queen yeah yeah queen you said queen yeah all right i'll play boring moves you're leading the tour right now how do you feel about that yeah i feel good uh okay queen yeah i feel good i mean i i'm very happy that i'm playing well i think okay queen You did beat Magnus twice, but he got you back in the last one. Yeah, exactly. And Rook. And winning the major is much more important than winning the minor. Mm -hmm. Because it automatically qualifies you. On to the final. On. Um, but we're, we're halfway through. And I, I feel my position is quite secure. Rook. Rook. I feel the rules are very, very weird too. Uh, pawn. For for example, for every ten point lead uh, on on the third point, you get. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, B. Marlet. Thank you very much for the game. Uh, the opening, you you were doing all right in the opening. You gave us a little bit of a chance, Wesley. Before we we finish this game up, let's go to this moment. I think that right here. Uh, White could have played better, right? Yeah, White could have uh, played better. Um, oh, here. Yeah, Bishop takes e7. Queen takes e7, d4. And we get stuck with this bishop. Yeah. Yeah, I think we misplayed the, the position very well. Yeah. With d4, and then White is just better without risk because if if you play f6 it takes f6 queen takes f6 white can play knight a3 develop the knight that way and this bishop is still wondering when it's going to get in the game yeah so actually he had a dream position after playing the passive move d3 and bishop e2 yeah good chance you had a good chance b marlin uh, before we before we go and play another game so you're saying something about the rules you don't like the rules of the the tour right now um, not that I don't like it, it's just a bit weird, because, for example, I, I, I think the rule is that if you're in the top eight, you're invited every single tournament, mm. so it's kind of unfair for those new players who just didn't play in the first two or three tournaments, they have no chance of catching up, Right. Uh, that's, so then basically you get these eight spots where every, where the, Players are high in points, and they just keep getting more points because they keep getting reinvited. It's like they, they cannibalize the event, right? Basically. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining, but it just seems it's unfavorable for many others. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, they have the rule where uh, the final consists of one round robin uh, with each match up pricing of four rapid games on Wikipedia. So and there are four players in the finals, right? There are ten players. In the finals? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't even know that. That's amazing. So it includes the three major winners and then top five of the tour, not including the major winners. Mm -hmm. And then two uh, wild cards. Amazing. That's going to be a heck of a finals. And, and the thing is that three points are awarded for uh, one match because 
each match with uh, each match comprises of four rapid games in the finals, and mm -hmm. three points are awarded if you score two and a half. Uh, two points are awarded for a tiebreak win, and one point is awarded for a tiebreak loss. Hmm. So some funky rules. Yeah, and, and, and the rules also, in addition to these points, the players start off with bonus points based on their tour rankings coming into the final. <laughs> wow, that's complicated. I, I, I'm pretty sure I could not repeat what you just said. Yeah, it's, it's in Wikipedia, Champions Chess Tour. Fascinating. But, but for every full 10 points they have more than the player, uh, you get... Uh, half a point more gotcha right, so a bit uh, a bit weird so, so these two points matter quite a bit in the finals but i don't think that much i don't look that far ahead i see well, it should be very exciting. All right, well, let's get to playing again. Let me just line up on my board. All right, folks, you can challenge me uh, at GM Ashley. We are playing hand and brain. Wesley is the brain, and I'm the hand. And it looks like two games so far we've been suffering. We could have had a worse position in this one. But I'm going to try to I, – I'd like to get challenged by somebody who uh, might be able to beat Wesley straight up if, uh, if, you, if you got that kind of rating – let me see it. Let me see it. Somebody who, who, yeah, my challenges do, my challenges do disappear, folks. So you, I hope you can challenge me again. And I'm looking for somebody who's, uh, who's got like a truly beasty death grip rating. And I'm looking around. And I see, whoa, the challenges are coming fast and furious. But, oh my goodness, uh, who? Sh okay. They're, they're flying too fast for me to even press a button. If I press randomly, I'm, I'm not going to get what I'm looking for. But, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with. And why did all the challenges disappear? Okay, I'm going to go with Master Player. 2200, Wesley. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, we, we could be in a lot of trouble right now. We could be in a lot of trouble. All right? Yeah. Let's go. Let's 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 try to survive. Let's go. Four, one. Uh, let's play the Sicilian again because I don't trust you guys. Can stop challenging. One. Uh, night. Night. Okay. Well, I got the bishop there. One. Night. Pawn. Uh, I'm not sure which pawn you mean, Wesley, but I'm gonna yeah, go with this. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not what you wanted. Uh, I think e6 is main line, but this is good too. Okay. So, I think pawn. Pawn in this position. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So was, that, was that it? You don't, you don't play knight d7. No, I play bishop d7. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. No need to apologize. That's what that's what this is all about. Yeah, we want to get into an unknown territory. See, he's out of his book also. He does. Yeah, but 2,200 player. Not going to lose on the clock. And uh, there he goes. Mike Morton from Boston. Okay. Um, Bishop. I think we're actually following Against Topalo from Riga. <laughs> Whoa, good. Yeah. I'm glad you know what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just bringing pieces out. <laughs> but yeah, good. That was that was certainly something dangerous to say. <laughs> we're following Maxime versus versus Topalo. Uh, King. Pawn. Pawn, you say? Yeah. That one's tricky. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one. That seems good. Yeah. Rook. Get some counterplay going. Mm-hmm. Now it's sharp. Yeah. Woo! Is this legit? 
I don't, I'm, I'm feeling good about that last move. Yeah, I think we've seen the initiative, Maurice. Yeah, All right, that, that E5 looks suspicious. Suspicious for him. For him, yeah, definitely. I think he had to just play knight C3 and go for it instead of instead of playing like this. A little too aggressive in the opening. We got it going. All right, we stole a pawn. We got this, yeah. Stole a pawn with potential threats. We should be able to consolidate this. We also have a lead on the clock, so that's good. We're, yeah, we're going to get around 20 rating points. <laughs> that's a good move, H3. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have a clear way. Knight? Knight. You want to move the knight? Hmm. We got a lot of squares. Yeah, a lot of choices. I'm just, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna retreat. Yeah, that seems solid. That, that was your point. Yeah. Okay. So far, it looks like I'm guessing your moves. We don't, we don't do too badly together. I mean, at least in terms of synchronizing moves we might get bad positions anyway but yeah i i knight knight if i do that that's gonna happen so i've got to take right yeah knight knight wesley trying to be sexy okay let me just do it I would have played the boring D5, but you're right. Then the pressure would have been initiative to white. Yeah, we don't want to give him time to consolidate. Right. Bishop. Woo! This is going to get fun. Yeah, now he's under a minute. <laughs> Man, Wesley, you're just pressuring the guy every move. <laughs> Woo! Look at all these threats. This is Wesley So, folks, an animal. I just got to follow the lead. Knight. Yeah, Knight. Uh, there's the boring move and there's the exciting move. Uh, yeah, that's true. The exciting move looks bad. Uh, that, that, and then what's my next move? I have no follow-up. All right, I'm going to play the boring move. You weren't thinking knight f2, were you? Huh? You, knight you... f2? Yeah. Pawn. I'm just making sure you weren't thinking knight f2, because this, this obviously was... Oh, but this is too strong. What am I talking about? This is just winning. Just win a piece. Yeah, knight f2 also wins. That's an exciting way to play, but... Nah, this is this is straightforward. <laughs> This makes life very easy. Yeah. Whoa. We got this go. Oh. Okay. Well, pawn. Rook. I got, I got 20 seconds. With a bad position as well and still going to lose material. Dig, Wesley. That one was supposed to be the rough game. And you made that one smooth. Goodness yeah. gracious. That, that was something else. All right. Well. B Marlet, Yipper, Yipper, you, you said you were B Marlet. I appreciate it very much, you guys. Uh, we do have Grandmaster Wesley So here on the stream, and he's just been so generous with his time. We are ready, bucking up against the hour. So, folks, we're going to take one more game because Wesley has been just too much of a gentleman with his time so far. We're going to take one more game. But before we do that, Wesley, uh, Guys, just pause with your challenges for us for a second. Just pause so that we can we can uh, just have this quick discussion. I want to make sure I see your challenges. So as I'm saying, just pause. Wesley, I have a, I have a serious question for you. Your aspirations, thank you. Thank you very much, by the way, Jason. Thank you so much. Much appreciated the generosity. Uh, what are your aspirations for... And, and I'm asking this because we've got a candidates coming up that you're not a part of, all right? Yeah. 
Yeah. What are your aspirations for the world title? I mean, everybody who's anybody, even me when I was coming up, wanted to become world champion. You dream about the world championship title. But there are people who have the talent, there are people who have the, the, the resources, and there are people who, who have the determination who get to a certain level. And you're one of those people who can legitimately say that you hang with the best players in the world. But the world championship title itself, do you have those aspirations right now in your career? Um, yeah, I mean, um, as a player, you always want those, those aspirations, and I still, I still am hoping. But uh, you need to take uh, a step at a time because uh, you don't just jump from one level to another. So my main focus right now is just to play some, just to be able to play some really good chess. Play some really good chess, and, and we'll see. Because if um, if a player is very focused on results, like he wants to win, he wants to achieve this, he wants to gain rating, then sometimes it becomes non-productive. And uh, so my my main goal right now is just to get some rating, um, eliminate my weaknesses, just to play some, some good chess. There have been some bad tournaments in the last few years, which I'm trying to avoid. So, to answer your question, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have aspirations uh, to, to become world champion, but there's a lot of things that depend uh, on it, uh, on different circumstances. So you're talking about you're talking about improvement is where you're at right now. You you want to be consistent with your game and improve at the same time and let the rest take care of itself. Yeah, my main goal is to cement myself on the top ten for top five and if I get that to try to cement myself in the top five and then good things will happen because uh, uh, I, I think focusing on results too much is not not a very good thing but just try to become better every day try to eliminate my weaknesses but uh, you want to you want to give us an insight into your weaknesses, Wesley, or is that too much information to give away right now? Your your competitors might be listening in. No, it's fine. I think my some of my weaknesses include uh, physical strength, stamina. Mm. Uh, well, yeah. let, whoa! Don't freeze right there. Freeze right there. Let's speak to that. What do you do to deal with that? Because you know I'm a fitness guy. Uh, oh yeah, you're uh, very fit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, thank you, but I mean, I'm about you know, I'm about staying healthy, eating right, you know, doing the right things. But you're saying stamina, uh, and Chipotle Sensei is, is saying physical strength. What? Like question mark? What? What's, what's that about? What do you do, and what do you what do you mean by physical strength, and and what do, and stamina, and what? How does that help your chess game, and what are you doing to to make that a reality? Yeah. Uh, well. To be a world champion chess, you have, need to have a strong stamina. Games can last very long. Games can last between four to six hours, and tournaments can run two weeks. So, uh, as what Minik was once said, you can only hope to play some good chess if you have the right conditioning, if you're in good condition health-wise. Mm -hmm. And Bobby Fisher also mentioned that. Uh, in order to... I think every athlete needs to be in their prime physical condition because... Uh, Otherwise, your brain can take it, all this mental stress uh, in, in chess. Uh, so, so I guess you don't only need to be good uh, physically and have uh, physical strength and stamina, but you also need to be good mentally. So it's brain uh, and the body, they need to work uh, well together. And what are you doing to improve that in your life? Do you have any training secrets you want to share? Yeah, that's true. Well, it always could be better. I, I, swim, I swim once or twice a week all the time. I try to be in the right shape. That's very important to be in the right weight. So I've always had problems with my weight regular, in, regularly in my life. So weight so, which weight? Up or down? Uh, up. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's always up. I think Fabiano <laughs> might could, could gain a few pounds. Uh, Hikaru and I, maybe we could lose a bit less. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. What, yeah. what is what is your what is the what food are you eating that make that's making it go up, Wesley? Is it chocolate or or chips or what is it? Well, the thing is, like when when I'm at home, I eat very well. Like here at home, we always eat home cooked food. We barely eat any sweets. We don't eat junk food. But when we're in a tournament, it's it's very hard to to. Well, because after the game, you're like mentally stressed. You're very tired. You don't even know what you want to eat. You just want to eat something. <laughs> and, and they treat you so well at these tournaments. When we go on tour and we're in these great hotels and the buffet yeah. is out and everything looks sparkly and pretty. And you're like, yeah, oh, my gosh, I got to grab whatever it is on the pl is on the buffet. And also, once you have a terrible game, if you suffer a terrible loss, then your mind doesn't even know what to eat. You just eat what's there. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, I just lost. Let me grab a burger and try. <laughs> oh, that's so, hilarious. I mean, if you look at all the uh, successful athletes, I think they're very much on the right way than their prime physical conditioning, like Magnus, for, for example. So that's very important. Also, if you if you look good, you feel good. Mm. And so if, you're, if your body is in top shape, I think you feel good. So that improves your confidence. You're looking good, Wesley. You're looking good. Uh, you know, I gotta say, you look. You don't look yeah, like yeah. you're. You're at a. You got some 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 uh, COVID weight on you right now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, that's that's one. Also, need to have uh, on chess. I guess one thing that can be improved is my mental strength. So mm. there are some days when when I lose games, uh, I I can have mood swings. And go depression. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes I feel very confident. Sometimes uh, not really. So that's why I, I can easily place anywhere in the tournament from first to last. Wow, uh, wow. And what do you so, do? What do you do to gain mental toughness? Uh, just to just to realize that uh, that sometimes I have bad days. Sometimes I have good days. And sometimes I get very nervous right before the start of the tournament. And actually, not sometimes, but all the time. I get very nervous just before I start tournament. And the thing is, just you need to write down your weaknesses, uh, write them down, and figure them out, and figure out a way to way to solve them. Now, I have to ask you, Wesley, uh, because you know I I know I did not have your talent level, and to get to the GM title required a whole lot of fixing up my weaknesses. But one thing that really helped me, and I'm surprised you you didn't say this, that you didn't try, is when I started Aikido, as a, the martial art Aikido, not only did it help me with fitness, but also a big component in it was meditation. And when you talk about mental toughness, I'm curious if you ever thought about meditation as part of your training. Medi meditation, yeah, I've never really done meditation. Like, what if it... Uh... What do you do exactly? You just, I mean, meditation is very simple. There are multiple things you could do with meditation, but, but one is just just simply s sitting anywhere. You can sit on a chair. You can sit on the floor. And then you just close your eyes, get all, try to get all thoughts away. You will never get rid of them. And just breathe on a four count, you know, just breathing out four, breathing in four, and, and if any thoughts that come to mind, you try to just gently push them away and just do that 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you start getting more stamina and you could just sit there and, you know, of course, I know your brain's going to be figuring out chest positions while you're sitting there and you have to somehow let them not be in your brain and, and just, you know, you have to gently push them away and get back to just counting your breath. And I, I know that's a very powerful way of calming the spirit and, and building up that kind of peace of mind. I, I think you should investigate it. It's a very simple practice. It's nothing, it's nothing super fancy. It's nothing to do with uh, religious or spirituality. It's just mental, mental calming. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. And that's one thing I've never tried, which I should. Uh, yeah, Jeannie Singville mentioned to me a couple of years ago that mm -hmm. she always, uh, um, I mean, she suggested that I take deep breaths and close my eyes and count to 10 seconds. Just to reset the brain in between the games. Mm. That makes sense. So a lot of this gives me head massages during tournaments from time <laughs> to time. Because we got that from Kramnik. We were in Paris 2016 in the Grand Chess Tour. 
Yeah. And in between the breaks, the rap in this game, see what happened, Matthews. Right there on site. Wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. But I, I got to say, I'm really surprised on the mental side that meditation is not like I would think it's super popular. I would have thought it was super popular at the elite level because the 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 thing the problem for us is that we we're using this the same the same mechanism that that also controls our emotions, right? And you talk about you talk about you're trying to think, but also you get scared in the middle of a game or you get depressed in the middle of a tournament if you have a bad tournament and there's got to be something that regulates the gray matter and gives you some sense of control or some sense of peace when you're playing right so i would say meditation is just fantastic very simple it's not even like a complex thing it's just it's just sitting down and, and, and putting yourself at peace you know quiet room and just getting into those thoughts yeah because i think chess is very psychological in the top level you need to have very strong mental strength and uh that's uh, the most important thing, really. mm -hmm. mental strength, and uh, to be to be in the prime physical condition so that you feel good. Yeah. You didn't mention so far. You haven't mentioned any chess weaknesses, though. You mentioned you mentioned uh, physical stamina. You mentioned mental toughness. You, but you didn't say. Well, my, but this is, I think, a flaw in my chess game. Is there yeah, anything in your chess game you're you're worried about, or you feel like you're pretty solid there? Yeah, I feel like for me, I've always enjoyed chess. I always like chess. I like working on chess. Like I can work straight six hours, no complaints, when I'm happy. Mm. Uh, so I feel really it's uh, my main problem is uh, my mental strength, mood swings. Mm. Um. I mean, of course, my chest could be better, but uh, if I can fix my brain and my 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 uh, my body, then I'll be very happy. Um, <laughs> obviously, chest related, um, my openings could uh, be better. Could have more research. You seem um, to be you but, seem to be all right with the with the openings all right now. Somebody's asking. Uh, well, first, I just want to say, Yipper said, I just want to say one more time how much our match meant to me. I'm truly inspired to become a better person and chess player. We appreciate that, Yipper. Uh, we're, we're glad for that. And Apetkov is asking, who is your second? Do you have a second that you want to release? Uh, I don't have a, a second right now. I have sparring partners. Mm. So I, I play with uh, sparring partners regularly. Okay. Uh, be, before, well, before the Olympiad in the past few years, I sometimes work with Sam before team events, for example. Sam Shanklund, uh -huh. Grandmaster Shanklund. Sam Shanklund, Shanklund, former U.S. Yeah. champion, one of the top players in the country. Yeah, and I have also uh, several friends. Uh, for example, I sometimes part with Le Kwang Liam. He lives in, in St. Louis. So I'm in friendly terms with him. And, uh, from, Le Quang, Le, from, from Vietnam, the number one player in Vietnam, certainly a fantastic player himself. Yeah, that's true. I'm I'm in good terms with him. He's a very good, very strong player, very very talented, but uh, doesn't didn't have much break recently. So, uh, we're saying some people are saying they would volunteer to be your sparring partner, Wesley. Uh, I oh, think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Wesley doesn't. Um, Wesley could do could could handle it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like I like playing chess. Uh, yeah, obviously there's a lot of things that could be improved in my chess, but. Uh, I'd be happy if I'm if I'm always in a good mood and if if, if I'm happy. Mm. Uh, one thing though with with tournaments, for example, like the Singfield Cup, is that one, one loss can lead to easily to another. So I tend to, to snowball when I lose a terrible game. Get mm. depressed and stuff. That's the difference, right? Like somebody like like Gary, yeah, Gary would lose a game and guarantee the next player is a victim. Just, yeah, that's very hard. Like it's just guaranteed. Whoever is he, he's playing next is a victim. Like you, you see Gary lose a game, and you're, and you're playing him the next day, and it's like, oh no, I, I can't believe I gotta play this guy tomorrow because Gary would be hopping mad. Like I gotta destroy the next person and the next few people I play. That was his his attitude, his great mental toughness. Uh, yeah. That that I would say, yeah, big plus for him. That's, that's mental toughness right there. His matches. Anatoly Karpov were, were really extreme and he's learned a lot from, from those games. 
Mm-hmm. That's a, I must say that's a very hard thing to do, and that's that's a talent that the top that some top players have, like Magnus or Hikaru, for example. But uh, it's uh, very hard to to develop, I must say. All right, Wesley. Th- again, d- amazing insights you're giving us. Uh, I feel like we're abusing your time and dinner for you and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one last game, folks. The last challenge, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to see who we can pick that, you know, we don't mind losing, right? We, 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 we'll we go to bed okay if we lose. So I'm looking right now for somebody uh, on the super high end of the scale, although, I mean, the one we just played at 2200 seems like the highest one so far. So I might just have to grab it grab somebody and make somebody happy tonight so uh let me just see come on guys give me uh, is wesley just reading the chat to wesley was yeah, I'm reading, I'm reading wesley's chat been reading the chat folks he's been he has been following how about a 400 player i don't think people want to see player. us beat on a 400 all right big dog big dog and big dog had a black lives matter symbol up there as well so big dog we want to pick you 2100 player and uh big dog show show love to big dog wesley uh, let's see what we can do. This is the last game on the stream. You you can pick a move, or you can play wild, or you can play play normal. Okay, so we play wild this game. Wild. Okay, we're gonna play wild. So I'm gonna make a wild move at some point. Okay, pawn. Pawn. Wild. Uh, wild. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, wild. Yeah, pawn. Another pawn? Yeah. Uh, okay. That that's not wild. That looked boring. Uh, bishop. Yeah, I was actually thinking B five, but no, this is much better, much better. Okay. Okay. Pawn. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> bishop. <laughs> Knight. Knight. All right. We haven't played anything wild that wild yet, right? Well, like, now our opponent is time. testing us. Okay, knight. I, th- I think I better be sane and put my knight in a centralized square. Pawn. Keep being sane. All right, so we decided to play something a little bit unusual and different, folks. Pawn. I'm going to take with this one. Little unusual and different. We're way down on the clock. Oh, okay, now we got movie on night, but we have increment, so yeah. Uh, I'm just letting you know that I, I didn't know this big dog is really playing with some speed. Oh, that's true, right? Queen. Queen. Uh, I'm gonna play a normal move just because it's boring. Yeah, we're we're slightly better. Pawn. Pawn. You wanna play? Yeah. You want wild? Yeah, for like. How wild do you want me to get? Jeez, pawn, da da blah. Okay, fine. Wild. Pawn. This turned into a pretty traditional looking position from. Whoa. Pawn. Oh, see, yeah, we gotta protect. All right, we always can screw up which rook. All right, I'm going to go with this one because I don't see what my rook would do on the other file. Whoa. Bad move, yeah? Yeah, now rook sd1 makes sense. So knight. That was a big break. A little too fast there, big dog. A little too fast, giving us this fork. Yeah, definitely. Miss knight a4. Yeah. Well, we're not just no choice, but we're happy. Rook. I'm very curious. If Big Dog finds the right move here, what we're going to do. Ooh. I liked Queen H5. Queen what? Oh, Queen H5. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. I re- really like that move. Queen. Did you say Queen. Man, you are that cannot be a wild move in any way, shape, or form. Oh, so, so I'm yeah, just gonna 
that's true, yeah. <laughs> when you say quick, I mean, so logical, it just, I knew it couldn't be wild. Yeah, Black's position is very solid, though. Yeah, very solid. We, we couldn't really do much. No, and I, I truly appreciate this bishop on this diagonal, so. One. Yeah, Black has got to be very careful here. This bishop is gonna do so much work. And we got all great pieces. So this is Yeah, we can't really play that well now. No, we just gotta win. <laughs> Rook. Rook, okay. This piece is so good. My gosh. Knight. Okay. Yeah. If it takes, then knight gets trapped. So. Yeah, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Yep. Find bishop a four. Why are you telling him moves? He's watching. Oh, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean that actually. Uh, that's got to be oh, good for us. We got to play wild, right? So knight. Knight. Under. If you. All right. Yeah, it's good. I almost sacked on G7 just for fun, but. Yeah, taking rook D6 also works well. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. That would have been yeah. better. Bishop. Yeah, take on G7 was nice. Why didn't I play that move? Pawn. Uh, guess I'll do this. Yeah, that's good. No. That's a beastie bishop. Yeah, and the knight is very poor. King. We're not too low on the clock. Mm -mm. I know, yeah, we would have definitely clocked this move in, but now he's got some, some issues. Although I did just give a lesson on the stream uh, based on this these principles, so I think black has a good move here. I think. I think black has the only move. I think spawn. Why are you telling him what to do? Oh, okay. Goodness gracious, will you tell him what to do? Rook. <laughs> okay, Rook. Yeah, he, 80 was a good try. But, uh, I know, but he's one tempo short. Rook. Oh, that's good, yeah. Rook. And we get all the... Mmm. Ah. Oh, that's a good move. Rook. Hmm. 49 seconds. If I play this move, he plays that and that. I get nothing. If I play this, he goes there. All right, you know what? I'm going to keep being greedy. 38 seconds? I think I get away with this, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Rook. King. I think we can handle this one. That was a good game. Good game, big dog. King. One. King. One. Now we can just pass on like all the. Yeah. One. 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 
<laughs> he tried to trick us. <laughs> Yeah, we can handle this. King. 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 Rook. Sorry, big dog. Shielded. One. Rook. I just assume. Rook. the quickest way oh you're right yeah we got uh we got this nice <laughs> Woo! managed yeah. to pull it off wesley so we got 50 rating points <laughs> wesley thank you so much for coming on the stream i gotta tell you i'm so appreciative you spend so much time with us everybody it's grandmaster wesley so show him some love for deciding to be on with on with us on a Friday night, showing his genius, giving us those great insights about the top level. We're talking about the tip top level of chess folks. We learned some things on this stream that was just absolutely fabulous. We're seeing all this love that you're seeing on the chat, Wesley. The folks love you so much, and we want to see you just improve and improve. I, I'm going to say I hope that meditation tip you might be able to use because it's a very simple thing. Like I said, it's, it's just mental. It's not nothing to do with uh, with anything else, but strengthening that mind and calming that soul. And you're such a genius and such a nice guy. We want to see you continued success. Get Wesley's material as well. He's got books out. Uh, the great book, uh, Omnibus book. Too long a name to remember. Just Google Omnibus and Wesley. So you're going to see that book. Make sure you get him on Chessable and his great explanations as well. And follow him on the Grand Chess Tour. Not the Grand Chess Tour. Look at me. I'm hoping for the Grand Chess Tour. That'll be back later. But the tour, the, 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 the Meltwater invitational uh the tour that they're having right now where he's been showing his stuff beating magnus a couple of times getting into the semi-finals just showing that he's indeed one of the best rapid players on the planet wesley again thank you thank you thank you so much for joining us it was so appreciative anytime you want to come back you, you if all you want to do is come back and and show us a book that's like buy this if that's all you want to do you've got space on this stream much yeah. love to you, Wesley. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much, Maurice. You're my favorite commentator. Thank uh, you. I, I, I miss your your trial with Jennifer and with uh, Yasser. There are one, really. So hopefully we'll get back overboard. Thanks to, so much to the chat for all your support, and uh, thanks for watching the stream. Chipotle Sensei just gave a very generous gift. I got to say thank you to that as well. Uh, you guys are been have been wonderful and great great support that i have on this stream wesley and they all my fans are your fans too i mean i wish i could get a piece of your fans as well but all of mine are definitely your fans for for sure guys that was gm wesley so next week join us on the same friday we will have rap legend jizza on the stream he's not gonna play chess like wesley or not on that level but he's gonna drop some deep knowledge and some deep insights the rapper Jizza from Wu-Tang Clan, one of the greatest rap groups. I think they've been voted the greatest rap group in history. They'll, he'll be on the stream and he'll drop his wisdom and knowledge. And we'll play some hand and brain with him too. I'm afraid I'm not going to do as well as I did with Wesley So, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun stream. We'll try to keep bringing on the fun guests. And Wesley was all of that. So everybody, please have a great weekend. Enjoy, enjoy the weekend indeed. And may all your gangs be gangster. Everybody, peace out. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And please follow me on twitch.tv slash GMAshley.